Hello, I'm Marcelo and in today's tutorial we will learn about REST APIs automation in Power Automate Desktop. So for this tutorial we will use the JSON placeholder REST API which is the fake API which is useful for testing and also for this demo so to show on this tutorial how to work with different API methods. So if we scroll here, and by the way, you can find on the description of this tutorial, the link for this page. Here we can see the resources uh, that uh, we can use for the API and also the routes, so the methods. So to get all the posts, for example, or all the comments, to get a specific post, uh, to get a specific comment, to post a post, so to create a post, let's say, or to update and even to delete. So let's get started by getting posts. So to do a get REST API request. So here on actions on Power Automate Desktop, let's search for web service. And so uh, for REST APIs, we will use the invoke web service action. And so first, uh, we have to provide the URL, the endpoint for the API call. So on this case, it will be the link of this website plus uh, the route. So on this case for the get to get posts, we have to add here posts. And so the method uh, on this case will be get and so uh, the content type will be JSON. So if we click here, we can see it's on the JSON format. So here, uh, let's change uh, to uh, JSON. And that's it. So we don't have to pass any body or custom headers, or, and even we don't need any authentication. So it's like open API, it's just for testing. So uh, here we can see the output, so we'll get a status code, also the response, which will be the posts, and the HTTP header. So what matters most for us here will be the response, so let's just save. And now let's just run to see if it runs well. So we see that we didn't get any exception, status code to Android, so it means the request was successful. And here we can see the response, so we can see here that we got the posts uh, from this API call. So now let's give a try to other resource. So for example, let's try to get comments, so just to test. So here we just have to change post to comments and save and run. And here we can see now at this time we just got comments. So here we can see the post ID, so uh, the post which the comment is related, the name of with Ushu, the name of who did the comment, email, and the body, so the comment. So now uh, we can try another uh, get uh, request. So in this case, to get a specific post. For example, uh, here basically the idea we indicate the resource and then the ID of the specific uh, post that we want to get. So here, uh, let's say that we want to get on the posts the one that has the ID 2. So we save, we run, and we can see on the response that we got only one post which has the ID 2. So basically, by this way, uh, instead of getting all the posts, we just indicate the one that we indicated here, which has the ID too. So then here we have another method. So the post, so the post method is to create a record, let's say. So here uh, we just have to pass the route and then uh, basically send the body, which uh, basically has the post data. So here, I'll just comment this invoke web service by doing right click and click on disable action. And now let's just drag another invoke web service. And so here, initially we use the URL for the website and then add here posts. 
Then here method will be post and now here accept JSON and now the content type. So what we'll send will be JSON. And now we'll need to pass uh, the body which has the post data. So let's just open here um, a method here to see the post's uh, attributes. So uh, that we have to pass the title, body and user ID. So following the logic that the ID usually is automatically generated. So we don't need to pass on the body. So here, so to create uh, body, uh, JSON body. So here initially we have to open curly uh, brackets and now we have to pass, uh, let's pass first the user ID so we can copy this, paste here and let's say that this post was created by the user that has the ID uh, tree and then we have to spread uh, by a comma to pass the next property so it will be the title so inside the block quotes title and then I pass the title inside the block quotes because it's text. So here just a title. And now here will be a body. So we can copy here. And then pass the body text. So just a body. And this is usually how it will be done on real APIs, uh, REST APIs on the post method where we have to create a record, so we have to pass usually uh, the data uh, for this record to be created on the body, usually in the JSON format. So here's just the body, and now let's save and let's run. And so here we can see that we got an exception about uh, the JSON, so actually the request body lo looks good so here on advanced we can see encode request body and this is the cause of this error so if we disable and run again here we can see that we got a response uh, that basically uh, indicates uh, that is a simulation but indicates that was created a post with the id 101 and with the data that we have provided so it's working well so now let's give a try to another method so the put method which uh, allows to update a resource a record so here we can just uh, copy what we have here and paste and now let's disable and here on this one let's change the method to put and now uh, here we provide the ID of the post that we want to update. So let's say that we want to update the post number one. And here it will be the same logic. So we have to pass a request body with the data uh, that might have the changes to update on the post. So let's leave as it is. Let's save and let's run. And so here we can see that basically it returns the, so the post with ID 1 with uh, the data that we have provided on the request body. So it's working well. So now in last but not least, let's uh, learn to use the delete method, which is very straightforward. So I'll just comment uh, this action and drag another invoke web service. So here, let's say that we want to delete a specific post. So the post with ID 2. And so the method to use is the delete one. And that's basically it. So we can save and run. And here we can see that we didn't get any response on text, but we got the status code 200 which means successful requests so it worked well so we didn't delete really any post because this is fake but uh, here we can see that uh, it's behaving like the post was deleted and yeah that's uh, pretty much it uh, for this tutorial 
And if you want to learn more about Product Bay Desktop, you can see now here will appear on the screen a playlist with tutorials that I did on the past on these tools so we can learn more about it. And also, if you like this tutorial, please give a thumbs up and now subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so you don't miss any tutorial released here on the channel.